Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do another tag video for you guys. It's been quite a while since I've done tag. I think it's been two or three months since I've done tag. So I'm finally going to do this one, which I saw going around on BookTube for the past couple of weeks. And it was really popular around this time last year. And that is the New Year Book Freakout tag. And I'll link the original creators video down below if you guys would like to check it out. But this is a 15 question tag that kind of talks about the books that you've read so far this year. And I'm going to just jump right in and get started. So question number one is for the best book you have read so far in 2017. So for that, I could go for a lot of different books, but this one definitely took the cake. And that book is A Court of Mystic Fury. This is by Sarah J. Mass. This is book two in the A Court of Thrones and Roses series. I absolutely loved this book when I read it last month. Uh, I just absolutely loved it. It was so, so good. This is a new adult uh, fantasy series on Walt's Bay, and I highly recommend you guys check this out. It's so, so good. I talked about more in my June wrap-up, so I'll link that down below if you guys want to hear more of my thoughts, but I just, I just loved it. If you guys haven't read this series yet, please go do so. It's just absolutely fantastic. Question number two is for the best sequel you've read so far this year. For this, I could go with Echo Moth again, but the, for now, I am going with a more recent read, and I literally just finished this yesterday, and that is The Mark of Athena. This is book three in the Heroes of Olympus series, and this is by Rick Riordan. This book was so good. I loved it. You'll hear more of my thoughts about it in my wrap-up for this month, but this is a The Heroes of Olympus series, if you guys aren't familiar with it, is a spin-off series to the Percy Jackson series, which I read last year. Absolutely loved that as well. And this is the third book, and I'm so excited to talk more about it when it comes to my wrap-up. It was so good, you guys. I'm on book four in the series right now, and it's just just go read the Percy Jackson series and this if you have not already. It's so good. Then we have question number three. is for a new release that you haven't read yet but really want to. And for this, I actually have two books. So the first one I'm going to talk about shouldn't be so no surprise as I just mentioned the second book of the series, like, Two questions ago, and that was a court of thorns, a court of wings and ruin by Sarah J. Maas. Is book three in the Court of Thorns and Roses series by her, and once again, really love the second book. Really love the first book that I read in April. Just highly recommend this trilogy so far. And the other book I have to talk about for that question is one that actually came out back in January, but I've been looking forward to it all year. And that book is Carve the Mark, and this is by Veronica Roth. This is Veronica Roth's new science fiction. A uh, book that has absolutely nothing to do with her Divergent trilogy, which is one of my favorite series of all time. I know this has a lot of mixed reviews about it, but I'm really excited to dive in and see what this world that Veronica Roth has created is all about. I think I'm going to read that in the fall. <laughs> Next question is for your most anticipated release for the second half of the year. So for this, I have to go with Tower of Dawn. This is by Sarah J. Mass. This is technically... I guess you could call it book six in the Throne of Glass series by her, which was one of my favorite series I led, read last year. Highly recommend that as well. This follows Kale's perspective, which I wasn't a huge fan of Kale in the second through the fifth book, but I am interested to see um, what how the story plays out from his perspective. My other choice, I actually have two for this, uh, is the book that comes out I think next week, and that is Because You'd Love to Hate Me, and this is by a bunch of different authors. It's also paired with 13 booktubers which sounds amazing. A lot of my favorite booktubers are part of this anthology and it follows villains which is one of my favorite parts of any book is a good villain so I'm definitely looking forward to picking that up probably sometime right after it's released. Question number five is for your biggest disappointment. If you guys have seen my June wrap up this should be no surprise to anybody and that was Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is Marissa Meyer's newest release. This is a uh, Alice in Wonderland retelling that follows the Queen of Hearts and how she kind of became the Queen of Hearts. I read uh, Cinder, which is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer last year. Did not like it. I have a four for you for that on my channel. I'll link it down below. And I read this book and I was even more disappointed with this one. I just did not like it. Uh, very overhyped. I think most of her books that I've read so far are very overhyped. So yeah, very disappointed. <laughs> And believe me, I tried to like that book. I really did. <laughs> Next question is for your biggest surprise from this year so far. And that book for me, it's got to be Revenant's The Odyssey Home by Scott Kaufman. This book was sent to me for a review by the author. So once again, thank you so much to the author for sending me this book. I have a full review for it up on my channel. I'll link that down below as well. This is a, I guess you call it a young adult retelling of The Odyssey, which I think is really, really cool. 
I uh, highly recommend you guys check this out. It's a very surprising read for me. I did not know what to expect kind of going into this story, but when it came out, I really, really enjoyed it and I highly recommend you guys pick it up. The question number seven is for your favorite new author, whether this be a brand new author or a new to you author. For this, I actually don't have an answer because I honestly, most of the books I've read this year have been authors I've read in the past, so I don't have an answer for this one. Hopefully by the end of the year I will, but <laughs> I don't know. The question number eight is for your newest fictional passion for me. I'm going with Rice Sand from the uh, Aquarius Lens and Roses series again. I love him so much. I love him. I know everybody pretty much loves Rice Sand. I just, I loved him so much and Akamoff. I, I loved him. And question number nine, along those same lines, is for your newest favorite character. I'm going to go with Rise Sand and Feyre, both from the Aquarius of Thrones and Roses series. I love both of their characters so much in the first two books. I'm really excited to see where they go in the next book. Question number ten is for a book that made you cry. And so far this year, I've never cried in a book. I've cried in books in the past, but not this year. I did get teary eye when we're eating Aquarius Mist and Fury, but it never made me like bawl my eyes out. So I don't have an answer for that. And then question number 11 is for a book that made you happy. For this, I'm going with another more recent uh, recent read, and that book is When Diplomat Rishi, and this is by Sundaya Manan. This is a young adult contemporary novel that follows two Indian, Amer Indian American main characters who have been set up in an arranged marriage, and they kind of meet at a tech camp that were up-and-coming web developers. Really cool read. I read it last month. Absolutely loved it. One of my most highly anticipated releases of this year, and overall, I just really enjoyed it and highly recommend you guys pick this up. Question number 12 is for your favorite book to movie adaptation that you've seen so far this year. I honestly technically have not seen any book to movie adaptations this year. Uh, unless you count Wonder Woman, which I saw last month. And I honestly, very unpopular opinion, I did not like it. Um, so I technically have not seen any book to movie adaptations that I've least liked. <laughs> Question number 13 is for your favorite review or video that you have done this year. Um, as you get, most of you guys know, I'm also a blogger. I have a blog. I'll link that down below as well. So my favorite review I've written this year, that's a tough one because I've done so many. Um, probably A Court of Thrones and Roses. I really like doing that. Um, for As far as videos, my favorite video review I think I've done this year was probably for Outlander, which I read that back in January. Loved that book. I'll have that link down below as well. And, uh, yeah, but it's kind of hard to pick a favorite video or blog post that I've done this year since I've done so many. And then question number 14 is for the most beautiful book you have bought so far this year. Um, I would have to say, even though I did not like this book, I do really love the cover of it. And once again, I'm going with Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I just, I mean, look how, look at how pretty that is. Like, I wrote, love the red and the black elements of this cover. So, yeah, definitely my favorite cover I've seen so far slash bought so far this year. And then the last question I have for this tag is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? And that pretty much could be every single one that's on my shelves. But uh, one of my reading goals for this year was to read more classics. I think I had a total of three. I could be wrong on that. Um, but I've only read one so far. And I think the next one I'm going to pick up is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, which has been... I love the Disney movies. I've seen pretty much every single adaptation of the story. I do really want to re read the original work, so that's definitely one of the goals for me this year. And that's all I have for this for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have any videos mentioned linked down below if you guys would like to check them out. I'll also have all my social media linked down below, so if you guys want to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or at my blog, they are all linked down below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!